Hey, I'm Mike with Holiday Rambler. Today we're going to take a walk around on the Invicta 32RW. You may have not heard of the Invicta, and that's probably because it was just debuted at our last Elkhart open house. Ever since the product was released, it's done nothing besides gain popularity and momentum throughout the industry. Let's dig into some of the features and find out what makes the Invicta so appealing. So we got our one piece molded fiberglass front cab. We have our oversized windshield. As with all Holiday Rambler products, we put the largest windshield in it possible. And that's just due to safety. So it's gonna give you a better view of what's in front of you. And it also lets you see what's coming in from the sides. Cosmetically up here, we have the high performance headlights and pair them with the contrasting colors of the marker lights and the accent lights gives it a real nice look. Also up front, that adds to the look of the front end. All of these black inlays are hand striped and automotively painted. Let's swing over to the side. All right, let's talk about what the Invicta is built on. So we're using a 22,000 pound chassis, not a 16, not an 18,000, it's a 22,000 pound chassis, paired with a 22 and a half inch aluminum Alcoa wheels. With the heavier chassis, the larger wheels, it's gonna give you a more solid, stable, safe, comfortable ride. Let's talk about a couple of the upgrades this year that Ford done with the F53 chassis. One's going to be, they beefed up the sway bars in the front and in the rear. What this is doing is it's allow you to take them turns with confidence now. The unit's not gonna sway as much as it used to in the past. Also, the biggest change probably is they went to a V8 instead of the V10. Now this is a 7.3 liter V8. It's producing 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. So that's an increase in performance in both of those categories. Coming up to the mirrors. So the Victa has chrome mirrors. They are heated, they are electric, and most importantly, we have our cameras integrated into the mirror. And what that's doing is it's keeping the cameras up out of the splash zone. When they're located down here, your cameras get loaded up with road grime and you can't use them. You can't see what's going down. Whenever you hit your turn signal on the inside, it's automatic, automatically gonna display this camera. So if it's loaded up with road grime, it's not gonna be much benefit to you. Stepping back and looking at the graphics on the Invicta, everything you see that's dark gray is a partial paint. That comes standard on the Invicta. The rest of it is gonna be gel coated with a high performance vinyl graphics. Now, if a full body paint is something that you're looking for, that may be an option coming in the very, very near future. As with all options, it will be at a slight price increase, but that's the great thing about options. If that's important, you can get it. If it's not important to you, then you can pass on it, keep the cost down. Moving up to our exterior entertainment. The Invicta comes with a 50 inch television. That's the largest uh, television I know of in any motorhome on the outside. We pair that with the two marine grade speakers and we spread them apart. So no matter where you're at on the side of the unit, you still get an even sound. Coming down to our luggage compartments. And here we have a lot of storage. We do have 110 hookups inside of our luggage bays. And let's talk about how we do our luggage bays. So we have Rotocast. We line all of our compartments in Rotocast. What's the benefit of that to you? Well, basically, this is so easy to clean out. If you spill a citronella candle in it, or you throw all your firewood in here and chips get everywhere, well, if you have carpet in here, it's, it's gonna be hard to get that, that citronella out. It's gonna be hard to pick all the wood chips out of your carpet. With the Rotocast, the only thing you gotta do is spray it out with a water hose, blow it out with an air wand, whatever you want to do. It's very easy to maintain. And it's going to look great for many, many years. Moving into our next compartment. This is our electrical bay. So inside here, you're going to find your 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Some of the competition may be using still 1000 watts. You may find a modified inverters. So with the pure sine wave inverter, what that's doing, the benefit to you would be that it's gonna be safe for your products. Anything you got inside, any of your appliances, your MacBooks, your high-end cappuccino makers, it's gonna run them safely. A modified wave inverter, it builds up a lot of heat in your appliances and it just delivers electricity and spikes. 
So the pure sine wave is going to deliver power to your appliances the same way the electricity company is going to deliver power to your appliances at your house. We also have our solar charger inside this compartment. And yes, the Invicta comes standard with a 100 watt solar panel up top. It's going to provide a trickle charge to all of your batteries and really improves the life of your batteries. Next compartment is going to be more storage. And this compartment, again, more storage. Moving back, we have a full pass-through bay. It goes all the way over to the other side. And in the last compartment, again, more storage. And this is where you're going to find your ladder extension to get into the rear. And one last spot to talk about for storage is going to be up top here. Now this compartment up here is more finished out. So this does have the ozite in it that we talked about. So this is where you're going to keep your more higher end items. You don't want thrown down in there with your firewood and your tiki torches. You can put them up here, keep them nice, safe, and clean. All right, moving on to the back. First thing you'll notice back here is that we actually have a rear cap. A lot of the competition, this price range, is going to have a flat rear wall. We do have that same rear wall underneath this, but then we opt in to put a rear cap on. It just gives it a high-end look. Also, we have our backup camera mounted into the rear cap, and that backup camera does have one-way audio. So when you're backing into the campsite, your spotter can communicate with you. The Invicta comes with an 8,000 pound hitch on the rear. Moving on to the driver's side, we have our Sani flush to help clean out our tanks and our city water fill. Coming into this luggage compartment, we have our 5.5K Onan generator. That is a gas generator that runs off of the main fuel tank that's provided by Ford. We got our fuel fills, the next compartment here, we have more storage, which is all passed through. We have 50 amp service and we have a surge protection. So what that's gonna do is protect all of your appliances, protect your whole unit from dirty power that may be coming off the post. Coming into our utility bay, we have access to our low point valves. So this is gonna assist you whenever you are winterizing your unit. Also, we have our whole house filtration system and we recommend that that filter be changed every 8,000 gallons. We also have external sensors on our tank, and that's gonna give a more true and accurate reading to the levels inside of your tank. Another thing over here is our knife valves. One thing people don't know is our knife valves are all built on a swivel, so that way you can get easy access to hooking up your hoses. You can turn them down, take off the access door, and still keep your luggage bay locked. Now, what's the benefit of keeping your luggage bay locked in the utility bay? Well, if your friends are like my friends, when I first started camping, let's take a look at this. So, your knife valve's here, your cap's here. We have all this dead space right here. So what may or may have not have happened, you pull this valve out, well, this all fills up with what we know is in our black tank, then they shut the valve. Well, you pack up all your stuff in the morning to go home, you stop at the dump station to empty your valves. First thing you do is you take off this. Well, now we know you guys got the idea of what happens next. So out of this whole video, if you don't take anything out of it, just take out, make sure you keep your knife valves locked up. Moving up, we got an exterior shower. All Invictus comes standard with an exterior shower. This is a great spot when you go take that hike or you're out fishing and the pets decide they wanna take a swim or get all muddy, you can bring them over here, hose them off before you get them inside to do the final cleaning up. We have a 10 gallon quick recovery water heater. Most of the competition is still putting in six gallon water heaters at this point. The next luggage compartment is more storage. Behind this door, we have access to our hydraulic fill reservoir and that's for the automatic four point uh, leveling system. And in the last compartment, we have our house propane. Now that's a 25 gallon house propane and we do have a quick, kick, 
quick disconnect over there underneath the patio on the other side where you can hook up your personal grill or maybe even have one of them outside heaters to take the chill off them cooler nights. That's the quick walk around of the Invicta on the outside. Let's jump inside and see some of the interior features. Before we open the unit up, one of the questions I get asked a lot at shows and by retail customers is do they have access to important amenities such as their bathroom, the refrigerator, and the bedroom whenever the boxes are closed and are driving down the road. So let's take a look at that. Here's the bathroom. So we have plenty of access there. The refrigerator door opens up almost all the way and plenty of access to our bed for sleeping while we're traveling. So the answer to all them questions are yes. You have access to all of your important amenities as you're traveling down the road. All right, now let's open up this coach real quick and get into some of the interior features. We'll start up here at the cockpit. Before we get into the features up front, one of the benefits of going to that V8 engine is the way it sets in the compartment below. We're able to lower our, our center console, which gives egress inside of the driver's seat that much easier. All right, starting up front, left to right, we have our automatic leveling system on the controls on the left. We have dual displays in the Invicta. We got the six inch monitor on the left, which is going to default to your rear backup camera. And then by applying your turn signal, either left or right, it's going to give sight down that side of the unit from the cameras that are integrated into the mirrors. The display on the right is our entertainment display. Now that, that display there is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto ready. Now, if you're going to hook your cell phones up to here to display your navigation from your cell phones onto your display, you need to use the USB port. It's located down by your right knee. If you're just listening to music, it is Bluetooth as well. Another big change this year for 2021, Ford incorporated a digital display into the dash and a smart steering wheel. You can toggle through the digital display and it'll show some features such as average miles per gallon, miles till empty, as well as the exterior temperature. Coming over to the passenger side, we have a very sturdy snap tra snack tray or laptop tray, as well as several electrical hookups, such as 12 volt over by the left. And on the right side, we have 110s and uh, USBs. The last feature I wanna talk about in the cockpit is our queen drop down bed. Now the drop down bed is standard in the Invicta. It's got a 600 pound weight limit on it, as well as it adds additional sleeping space. If you don't need it, as you can see, it's hugged up right against the ceiling and you don't even really know it's there. The controls for the drop down bed is located right at your head level as soon as you come in the entry door on the right side. Now onto the living area. The Invicta comes standard with a jackknifing sofa, which does jackknife out for additional sleeping, as well as you can utilize the space underneath it for storage, putting your blankets or any larger items you want out of the way. We have 110 hookups underneath our cabinet, as well as 110 and USB beside the jackknifing sofa. Now we can opt into theater seating in here if you choose to do so, but the uh, jackknifing sofa is standard. Coming up to the cabinets, we have the glass frosted textured inserts surrounded by solid hardwood face frames. Underneath it, all of our hardware is metal, European hin hidden hinges and gas uh, metal struts. What that does is ensures your cabinets doors are not gonna start sagging over time, as well as it keeps them closed. So all of your items ain't falling out when you take them last minute turns. Back over to the dinette, you're gonna notice the window that's underneath the television. Typically in the competition when they're building a floor plan as such with the TV over here, they're going to eliminate that window completely. We still like to provide that window for you as well as our television that's dedicated to the living area directly above it. Coming back into the kitchen area, the Invicta comes standard with solid surface galley tops and sink covers as well as the large stainless steel farm style sink. Directly above here. Again, our cabinets are all solid hardwood, as well as all of our shelving is adjustable. We use metal brackets, and these brackets are numbered. 
So if you want level shelving, as we all do, you don't have to set there and count all of the little slots. You just take the clips out, put them in the right number, and your shelving will be automatically level for you. The Victa comes standard with a convection microwave and a three burning cooktop with oven, as well as a residential refrigerator. Now residential standard, if you choose to have a LP RV style refrigerator, you can do, you can opt in to do that. But with the battery bank and the auto gen start and all the features that the Invicta has, you can more easily run the residential refrigerators. The Invicta comes standard with four house batteries. That's unheard of at this price range, as well as auto gen start. And what the auto gen start is going to do is basically just what it sounds like. It's going to automatically start your generator. There's going to be three triggers for your auto gen start. One's going to be quiet time. So if you're at the state parks and you're not allowed to have your auto or your gener generator running at a certain time, you can program that into your multiplex system, the screen right here, and that's going to prevent your generator from starting at that time. The other one's going to be batteries. So when your batteries fall below a certain level, it's going to automatically kick your generator on and recharge your batteries. So with all that battery bank and the recharging, it allows you to have the residential refrigerator as well as it protects the life of your batteries. Because one of the number one ways to kill your batteries is to leave them dead or uh, the charge depleted on them. And you're not gonna have to worry about that with the auto gen start. The last uh, feature that's gonna trigger your auto gen start is gonna be temperature. So if you're going out hiking for the day or running errands and you can't take the pets with you, you can simply leave them inside come to your multiplex, program the temperature that you want them to stay at, 70 degrees, and then you go do your hiking, be gone all day, and just know that your pets are gonna be remaining at a safe temperature the whole time. Coming into the bathroom, you're gonna notice all the cabinet space and all the storage we have in the bathroom to keep your linens out of the way or whatever bathroom supplies we have. Also, we have a porcelain toilet. You won't find any ABS toilets in any of our products. Moving over to the sink, as you see, we got plenty of countertop space. We have stainless steel sinks. Over to the shower, our showers come with textured glass doors, as well as we put our skylights up in our shower. It gives us that much more headroom. Working our way back through the kitchen even farther. The Invicta RW comes with multiple pantries. So on the passenger side, we have a large pantry over here. And then directly across from that, we have more pantry space. All right, moving into the bedroom. So the Invicta comes standard with a king bed, as well as all the overhead storage. Now this middle compartment is pretty interesting. It's actually prepped for a CPAP. You open the door, the light comes on automatically. We have our 110 hookups inside as well as a hole in the bottom of it. That way you can route your hoses for your CPAP machine and still keep your cabinet doors closed. Coming over to the dresser. So we have a lot of countertop space as well as five large dresser drawers and they're all on 100 pound drawer glides. We have our Bluetooth stereo and that does cast to the marine gray speakers that are on the outside of the unit. We also have our fireplace. Not only is that for is that aesthetically pleasing, it does produce 5,300 BTUs of heat. Victa does come standard with uh, dual 13.5K ACs. You may be wondering, where's the television at for the bedroom? Well, we put our television on a televator that drops down into the dresser. And the reason for that being is if you want all the countertop space or if you want the view outside, that's available to you. If you want to lay in bed and watch uh, television at nights, you simply run it up and that's available to you. Let's take a look at how the Invicta RW got its name and that's because of the rear ward in the back. All right, now onto the key feature of the RW is all this wardrobe space. The first wardrobe here, great thing about it is it comes standard as a wardrobe and with washer and dryer prep. You can opt in to have a stackable washer and dryer put in and the great, that's a great feature to have at this price point because typically you don't find a stackable washer and dryer until you get into high-end diesels. Our next full-length wardrobe has adjustable shelving in it. That way you can customize it to whatever height you desire or you can take the shelves all the way out it. 
all the way out of it. Now, if you're like me and have two pair of jeans and three t-shirts, well, this is a great spot to put your hiking boots, your trekking poles, your snow skis, and all them fun things you do when you're camping. The next compartment, our last wardrobe here, is full, a large full-length wardrobe. As you can see, the best thing about the wardrobes in the Invicta, they're fully customizable, so you can utilize them however you wish. All right, that wraps up the walk around of the 2021 Invicta 32RW. And just in case you guys are wondering, the decor that we're in today is carbon and the wood is whispering wind. Now we have multiple options for decor and wood. Uh, the wood options are going to be amber, nutmeg, and then the whispering wind we have here. New to 2021, it's just coming out, is the fossil painted wood. It's a white wood. It's at a slight upcharge, but I think you're really going to enjoy it as it makes the units look so much larger. Now, if you found this video to be useful, go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're at it because we plan on putting a lot more walk around videos out in the near future, as well as feel free to utilize the comment section below to give us tips or to ask questions about your unit. And we're going to do our very best to answer them questions for you.